One day, I thought it was the end for me. One day, back there in the year 2000, in Akpomuikire, in a state in Nigeria called Oshu State, I was in service. That was my service year. And I had beans. I had Maggi. I had everything that we cooked that beans. But I had no kerosene. And then we used kerosene as well for fire. So I took water and I lit it up. And I said, Father, I turned this water to kerosene in the name of Jesus. And I put this water under the stove. And I lit the wick of the stove. And the stove burned and cooked the beans. And I ate that beans with my spouse that very day. And a lot more of miracles that happened when I thought it was the end. It was never the end. I said to you today, it is never the end of your day. It's never the end of your life. That thing you are passing through is the beginning of a new chapter for you. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and we went through water. But thou brought us out into a wealthy place. It means that through your experiences in life, God is bringing you into a large place. A place of abundance. Abundance of joy. Abundance of laughter. Abundance of his goodness and his mercies and his favors. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. Is God allowed some things to happen because you made the choices by yourself? God allowed those things to happen because you have the right to make choices. God gives you freedom to make the choice. God will not interfere. The Holy Spirit will not interfere with the choice that you are making. He will only guide and direct. But if you go forth and say, no, this is what I want to do without listening to him, he allows you. So when the scripture says, thou hast caused men to ride over our heads, we went through fire, I we went through water, but thou brought us out into a wealthy place. It's simply saying, it is not the end of your life. That heartbreak you have, or you're having now, is not the end of your life. That trip that was postponed, is not the end of your life. That exam, that you were not able to partake in because you couldn't register is not the end of your life. That company that laid you off is not the end of your life. In fact, it's the beginning of a new chapter in your life. That scar that you have from an accident is not the end of your life. Whatever experience you have had, whatever you're passing through, or whatever you have passed through, can never be the end of your life. Your life is so big. Your life matters so much to God. That those things cannot be the end of your life. They are only experiences on the way to your place of wealth. I love that construction in Psalms 66. And verse 12, he said, But you brought us, you are bringing us out into a wealthy place. So your experiences are meant to lead you into a wealthy place. What's a wealthy place? A wealthy place indicates a place of gladness of heart. A wealthy place indicates a place of rest for you. A wealthy place indicates a place of rejoicing for you. 
So you have passed through something that looks like fire or even more than fire. And you have passed through something that looks like water. They didn't swallow you up because God is with you even in the water and in the fire. Remember Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. No matter where you've been through, God is with you. God has always been with you. And he is guiding you. He is our guiding light. Remember, the Holy Spirit is our guiding light. He is speaking to you always. All you need to do is to listen. So when the scripture says, Thou hast caused men, thou hast allowed men to ride over our heads. You allowed men to ride over our heads because we made decisions. Remember what the Bible says there. We went through fire and through water. We went through, it means you made a choice. God guided you. He gave you a dream when you were making that choice. You didn't listen to the dream. Maybe you repeated the dream two times or three times. And before he did that, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to your heart about this thing. He has been whispering to you in a still small voice. This is the way you should go. This is the way you should go. But you did not listen. And now God is not blaming you. God allowed those things to happen because he wants you to become experienced. Because experience we teach you to value what you have now. Experience will bring you into a large place. Experience will bring you into a place where you will treasure. Experience will bring miracles your way. Experience will make you to look at some things and instead of shouting, you will just laugh. Or you will just smile. Or you just walk away. That is what God wants you to be. God wants you to grow into maturity. So when the scripture says, Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads, we went through fire and we went through water, but thou brought us out unto a worthy place, is simply saying, God, you molded us. We went through, but we were not destroyed. We went through, but we were not perplexed. We went through, but we were not, though we were afraid, but we were not destroyed. It says, though I passed through the valley of the shadow of death, though I walked through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. What are you going through today? It is not the end of your life. I disagree with you a thousand times that what you are passing through is never the end of your life. In fact, at the end of what you are passing through, you will see glory. At the end of all that you've been through, you will see miracles. At the end of all that you're passing through, you will see the hand of God and the favor of God and the faithfulness of God. You see, at times when we pass through these things, God wants to teach us patience. At times when we pass through these things, God wants to teach us maturity. At times when we pass through these things, God wants to teach us a lot of things. Building us up for our next levels. Building us up for our next career. Building us, building us up for our next promotion. Building us up for increase. God is at the back of the scene preparing you. God is at the back of the scene giving you counsel. God is at the back of the scene 
molding you and molding you and molding you. God is doing a work for you. Remember, he is the author and the finisher of your faith. God has not left you. That heartbreak can never be the end of your life. God has not left you. That journey that you have not made can never be the end of your life. God is working things out for you. God is preparing some things at the back of the desert for you. God is preparing some things in the bank of the river for you. Just like Jesus Christ, after he resurrected, went to the bank of the river and he prepared meal for the disciples. And he called unto them to come and feast with him. And they say, oh, it is the Lord. That is how God works. Just rely on him. Don't see life as ending when you pass through all these things. He says, count it all joy when you pass through diverse temptations. Count it all joy when you pass through diverse. It means the temptations are not going to be, it's not going to be one, it's not going to be two. When you pass through diverse temptations, count it all joy. When God says, count it all joy, you count it all joy. When God says, count it all joy, it means at the end, there will be a miracle. At the end, there will be a pleasant surprise. I know this God so much. I can guarantee a hundred percent that whatever you are passing through will never break you. It can only make you. So don't be afraid and don't throw in the towel. Whatever you are passing through is only building you up. It can never break you. If whatever you are passing through intended to break you, then he is going to mold you up. And he's going to finish work on you. And when you arrive, glory is what will be heard. Hallelujah. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. You may have been disgraced. You may have been ashamed. You may have been rejected. You may have faced a lot of things. In the background, you may have been passing through what no man could envisage. In your room, you are crying all day long. Your bed is so wet with the tears that you share in the midnight. No one cares about all that you are going through. And at times it looks like you have to give up. And I say to you, don't give up, give up, it's not over. When you give up, then it's over. Turn to the Lord, trouble not your heart. Even when you fail, it's not over. Even when you fail, it's not over. You got to try again and try again and try again and try again. It is not over. And it cannot be over with you. Because God is in the boat with you. Look at all the instances in the scripture. Men would think it was a finished session with them. In the boat. At the cross on the other side, the boat was tossed to and fro with the boisterous storm. What kind of storm is hitting your boat today? What kind of storm that's besieging you? 
back, front, right and left and center. You have faced all forms of trouble. Feast your gaze in the Lord. Set your heart in the Lord. And remain unmovable. Keep on working on that project. Keep on working on that thing. Ensure that you are not idle. Keep on working and praying. Being happy. Singing melodies to your heart. Always. Singing spiritual songs to your heart. Always remembering the word of the Lord. That he will never leave you nor forsake you. It is never the end for you. It can never be the end for you. It can never be the end for your children. It can never be the end for your wife. It can never be the end for your husband. It's not the end of your career. It's not the end. I disagree with you. And today, I agree with heaven concerning you that God is opening that God is opening a new chapter for you. I say, I agree with heaven concerning you that God is opening a new chapter. God is opening a new chapter. God is opening a new chapter for you. God is bringing things to pass in your life. God is bringing miracles to pass in your life. God is causing color and beauty and favor to arise upon you in the name of Jesus. Today, I agree with you. Whatever you have seen, shame, receive double of increase. Wherever you have encountered shame, receive double of promotion. Wherever you have encountered shame, receive double of greater ideas. In the name of Jesus, I declare, agreeing with you, agreeing with heaven today, by the power in the name of Jesus, that you are blessed, that you are a royal priesthood, that you are a peculiar people, that you have been bought with a prize. You have been bought with a precious prize. Jesus Christ paid on the cross of Calvary. To redeem and to rescue you. You are a blessed generation. Your house is blessed. Your work is blessed. Your hands are blessed. Your life is blessed. In the name of Jesus. You go, you prosper. Everywhere you go, you prosper. Everywhere you go, you do well. You are unstoppable. It is not the end for you. You are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus. Remain blessed in Jesus' precious name. Remember, this is Common Wealth of Zion. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscription button right away. Share all that you've heard. Remain blessed in the name of Jesus. Until we see again, remember, it is not the end for you. Each time the devil comes and whispers to you, it's the end for you. You are confused. You don't have a helper. Say to him, Jesus Christ is my help. He is the author and the finisher of my faith. He says he will never leave me nor forsake me. He will always be by my side. God is by your side. God can never leave you. Hallelujah.